I think that it becomes clearer and clearer every day that both Israel and the United States are really white settler states. They were founded, both of them, uh, and justified by white supremacy and religion. In fact, not a lot of people re realize that the United States was actually settled by white religious extremists, very similar to Israel. This concept of a colonial settlement as plantations of religion. That is actually what the pilgrims said when they landed in, um, in America. And they really believed that as white pilgrims, they could realize God's plan and tame the American wilderness. Now, this may sound very funny and very outdated, but that is in fact the basis on which the United States was established. And so consequently, the genocide of Native Americans and slavery was the obvious outcome of what they, how they were going to build their country. Israel was the creation of British, British and US imperialism and was organized by the leaders of the Zionist movement who were representatives, not of the people, but of the European bourgeoisie. Those portions of the European bourgeoisie who were Jewish, whose faith, whose religion were Jewish. Because what many people don't quite understand are European, Western European Jews and the so-called Ashkenazi Eastern European Jews are very different. They, are, they, say, they share only one thing, and that is their religion, not their cultures. So we need to look at this very carefully when we talk about the poor Jews. And, 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 and please, don't get me wrong, the pogroms throughout Eastern Europe, and especially Russia under the Tsar against the Jews were horrible things. And, and I'm not going to deny, obviously, history. That happened. But the Zionist movement is not the same as being Jewish. There's, there's no doubt about that. And that's a very important point when we, when we talk about this.